it's breathtaking. And in fact, when I look at it, I'm so mesmerized, I feel like I am watching the Earth breathe. It's not just looking at the ocean, it's not just looking at land and atmosphere, it's looking at all of these things together and learning how they are all connected such that if you're looking at life in one place, well, how does that influence life in other places? So the colors on land are pretty intuitive. You have the browns of the deserts and you have the greens of the forests exploding and the whites represent snowpack and snow cover and ice coming down. And by just watching the greens expand and contract, you can really see the seasons changing, whereas the browns you know, get invaded by green and then retreat as the seasons change as well. These purples represent the biological desert where there is life, but it's not as abundant. And then the colors range into the blues here that have more and more life to the yellows and the reds and the oranges that you see along the coast. Well, it's very, very consistent with our expectations of what would be happening with a warming Earth and higher CO2 carbon dioxide levels in the atmosphere. It's not the color per se, but one of the interesting things we're seeing is that if you look at these deserts out here, and well, the area of this purple is starting to get bigger and bigger with time, and that's consistent with our understanding of a warmer planet. These colors represent the response of the marine ecosystem and the phytoplankton there expanding in space and time as well. What NASA is trying to do here is to take all of your senses, all of my senses, expand them out to space, look at all of these different things simultaneously, compress time, and then build these wonderful time series where you can rewind history in effect and watch for patterns and things that are changing that are simultaneously on land and atmosphere and ocean together.